Indigenous people are distinct social and cultural groups that share collective ancestral ties to the lands and natural resources where they live, occupy and from which they have been displaced. Indigenous people safeguard 80% of remaining biodiversity. They hold vital ancestral knowledge and expertise on how to adapt, mitigate and reduce climate and disaster risks. The Vedas of Sri Lanka are indigenous people whose ancestry is traceable to the islands of perihistral inhabitants. Most of the Vedas were heard into coastal refugees camps in government controlled regions during the late 80s and early 90s. They still gather honey when possible but no longer hunt because their guns were confiscated in 1980s by the government. Coastal Vedas are fishermen who are frequently involved in sea fishing. As a tribal community, the Vedas are threatened by modernity which plays a crucial role in vanishing them as a traditional or cultural group. The Vedas faced much stress over the decades which needs to be addressed to preserve their tradition culture and way of tribal life. The major problem that Vedas face are scarcity of water, interaction with law, malnutrition, less education, land fragmentation, social destruction, etc. The global challenge of climate change will have great impact on most indigenous people since they live in physically isolated, fragile and harsh environment vulnerable to climate change. The development activities by the specialized agency of the UN system and other international government and national agencies benefit indigenous people. The adaptation by the UN General Assembly of the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, the development of international standards and national legislation to protect and promote Indigenous people human rights are import factors. Asia Indigenous People Pact is an indigenous relational organization founded in 1988 by the Indigenous People Movement. In the agreement of COP15, Greenpeace welcomes the explicit recognition of indigenous peoples' rights, roles, and territories and knowledge as the most effective biodiversity protection from the UN Biodiversity Talks.